Hello everyone and welcome to Wrestling With Evil. My name is Luke and uh, today is a very, very sad day. Um, a couple days ago, I found out that um, that Paul Haddad, um, who is the original Leon, the OG Leon from 1998, um, he passed away. Um, he had laryngeal um, cancer. So, which is basically a uh, cancer of the voice box, and he was a voice actor, so, I mean, that, that really, really sucks, you know, but, um, I wanted to do this in memory of him, because this game, um, is one of the reasons why me and my dad bonded when I was a kid, um, I have a lot of memories playing this game with my father, and, you know, anybody that can move somebody that much, um, especially, you know, 20 what 22 years almost later you know um that really really hits home with me what's up Murph how you doing brother but yeah no like I wanted to do this in memory of Paul um it's gonna be a no save run I'm gonna do Le uh, Leon A and B scenario um and this one's for you buddy peace I hope you're in a good place um you are an amazing person and um you know you impacted so many lives with your performance as Leon in 1998 and we will always remember and be grateful for everything that you have put, you know, um, all, like the great voice acting that you did in the game and, you know, um, you know, and you talking to the fans and talking to the people on the row and whatever, you know, um, it just, it, the community still loves you and we know that you are, you know, somewhere great and, you know, that you're not suffering anymore and, you know, we all love you. So let's go. Let's fucking do this. This is for Paul Haddad. Um, and uh, thank all of you for watching. Um, so, yeah, let's get straight into it. It's going to be a no save run. I'm going to do Leon, uh, Leon A and B scenario in memory of Paul. So let's dig down deep into this. What's up, uh, Dr. Mind Mindbender? What's up, Murph? How you guys doing? So, yeah, I mean, I, I just wanted to give, you know, my experience on the game and how it impacted my life because, you know, Leon is a badass dude and Paul really is the OG, you know, um, you know, RPD officer. He really is the a real police dude. And, you know, it, it was really sad to hear that he passed, but, you know, his memory will live on no matter what. So thank you all for stopping by. Um, so yeah, let's start this stream. All right, I'm gonna put the chat on my phone. All right. All right, let's see. There we go. Thank you all for stopping by. Whoa, that um, volume is loud as hell. All right, so let's get into this, guys. What's up, everybody in the chat? Rest in peace to Paul. Here's one for you, buddy. I'm going to crack one open for you. I know that you're in a better place. You're a great, phenomenal person. You know, everything that you have said, you have given everybody, you know, in the community uh, on that on that podcast that you did with The Row, you gave everybody some really solid advice. You're a really great person, and cheers to you, buddy. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for me and everything that you've done for the Resident Evil community. You rock, and you're awesome. All right, so let's do this thing. No save runs. But yeah, no, like well, I'm 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 also going to watch the um the cut scenes too because, you know, I want you guys to hear, you know, Paul and just like the amount of, you know, passion that he puts into his performance as Leon. It's just amazing, you know. Even 22 years later, it's still great. All right. Just gotta make sure I'm on the right disc because I, I mean I think I am. I'm pretty sure that I am. Alright. So let's check. Hold on. It's alright, Derek. Thanks for uh thanks for stopping by and coming in. So disc one. Okay, disc one is Leon, so that's good. Um, alright. So let's go original, normal. Hell yeah. This is for you, Paul. And everybody in the chat, thanks for stopping by. And showing your love to Paul Haddad.
A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb. Okay, I'll skip that cutscene because it doesn't have Leon's voice in it. Look at him, man. Driving that Jeep. Hell yeah. Jeep drivers are the worst, though. I swear. They really are. got here what have we got here dude I love it so good Ooh. oh man it's such an iconic scene this this whole like start to this game why did he bite why did he bite me this whole game is just so great also Luke sorry for not being on my last stream um, last night you were really busy yesterday. Yeah, it's cool. Um, it wasn't a stream. It was more of a premiere. I wasn't even there, so what it's fine that you mess? weren't. What could have done this? What could have done this? What was that? What are these things? Man, I love Liam. All right, so that's far enough. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. No! What's up with that guy? That was a clean hit. Wait, don't shoot! Get down! Get down. Oh, I love that line. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Hell yeah, we will. There. Up. Okay. You watched the first hour of it last night? Yeah, it was a really fun interview. It really was. On. I arrived in town and the whole place went Rate. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Wow. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. Man, I can't believe he's gone. My brother Chris. His voice acting in this game is so good. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Hell yeah, Leon. She better take it with her. No! It's Zombie Leon! I always thought it was funny that the zombie has the, the same, uh... Ooh. That zombie got fucked up. You okay? Still in one piece. I always thought it was funny that the zombie had the same haircut as Leon. Station. I'll meet you there. All right, man. Ah, oh, it gives me chills thinking about it now. I can't believe he's gone. Like seriously. Wow. It's. Once I heard that news, I was instantly bummed out. I just. I didn't even know what to think. I mean, Leon. You know, Paul the dad just played such a great part in this game. All right. There we go. Yeah, what's up, Derek? Hello, everybody. Got five people in the chat. Freeze. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire. I'm a human. Hold your fire. I'm a human. 
I love it. <sighs> Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. Yeah, you did. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Man, such a such good lines from Paul. Seriously, he was the best. All right, I don't think I'm gonna go for the extra costume, um, in uh, in this playthrough, but I'll do it uh in Scenario B, so that way you guys have something to look forward to. Besides me, obviously playing as you know Leon, and hearing Paul. All right, let's get some handgun rounds up in this bitch. Okay, I gotta put uh, auto aim on. All right, um, let's see. Type, what is it, C? There we go. All right, awesome. Come on. Oh, shit. Damn. No, Kendo. Yeah, I know, right? I love Kendo. Man, I thought, because there was a skip in the music there for a second, I thought all the zombies were dead. But, uh, nope. All right, I'm gonna take your shotgun, Kendo. Sorry, you died and I just robbed your fucking dead body. That's what you get for being weird to Claire. All right. No saves. No save run. Let's do this. Right. Kendo! Yeah, I know, right? Don't shoot! I'm a human! Man. Leon's the fucking best. He really is. Oh, no! I don't want to fuck with you, zombie! What difficulty am I playing on? Oh, I'm playing on uh, normal, which is the hardest difficulty, I think. I don't think there's a harder difficulty. Or at least I'm not sure. I can only imagine if there was a hard a hard mode. Some ammo right there. go 
I'm just gonna kill all the zombies. Don't mind if I do. It's always very tempting. Alright, so I'm just gonna run past these fuckers over here. Alright, back to 13 bullets. I'll probably just uh, cap this zombie while he's on the uh, while she's on the ground, and then um, you know I'll probably blow this other zombie's head off with a shotgun because he's a lot harder always. He's always a lot harder to take down. All right. Got six people in the chat. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. So I guess I'll shoot this zombie's head off. Why the fuck not? Alright. Alright, nice. Alright. So we are down here. I can avoid these zombies. They're pretty easy to avoid. No Brad zombie this time, but he will be there eventually. NB scenario. All right, so that all that took a little bit of time, but whatever. It's all in the memory of Paul. I, and I usually don't stream on Sundays too, but I figured this would be a good day to, you know, kick back, relax, not, you know, try not to, to speed run and just, you know, just remember the good old days. celebrate Paul's life you know he also played in a lot of other stuff like uh, I think he was in um, a couple kids shows that I used to watch back in the day all right I'm gonna shut up oh man oh man who who are you oh you must be the new guy Leon sorry but it looks like your party has been canceled. Yeah, it has. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Yeah, true. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh, hang in there. Man, he must be in a lot Don't of pain. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. Yes, he was an X Men. But just go. Fine, but I'm coming back for you. Yeah, X just hold on. X Men was great back in the day. I mean, this guy, he he just he really really annihilated you know everything that he did. He really really just you know completely blew everything out of the water he always did a great job with what he did and you know and he was a very passionate person very loving very caring and you know how, how why should a guy like that not be celebrated you know like he did a lot for a lot of people um especially the nerd community which i'm definitely a part of you know the resident evil community x-men community like he did a lot for us, and, you know, it's only fitting to give back to him. Yeah, he played Quicksilver. That's right. Yeah, I was trying to think of who he played while I was jabbering and jawing on. All 
Alright, so let's get the fuck over here. Well, actually, no. I think I want to kill these zombies first. Alright. So I'm going to kill these zombies with a shotgun. I only have two bullets, but whatever. Still fine. That's alright, because I'm still fly. Can't pay my rent, cause all my money's spent. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Alright. Back myself up into a corner over, over here. Some of these motherfuckers are still alive, like him. Boom. He's dead now. Nope, okay. They're all dead now. They're all dead now. Alright. There we go. Nice. Let's go over here, kill these zombies too real quick. Why not? Actually, shit, I shouldn't have shot um, those zombies with the shotgun. But whatever. Goodbye. See you later. go. Kill him real quick. Nice. Not too bad. Alright, red herb. There we go. Alright. And this is the one that I don't have to unlock, so... Got five people in the chat. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for, uh, you know, being a part of this um, in the memory of Paul Haddad. And, you know, he was a great man. Um, he did a lot of great things for a lot of really, really cool people. And um, everybody that loves Resident Evil and stuff like that. Like, he's he is the godfather. <laughs> he is the godfather of Resin, Resident Evil, so... All right. Hmm, these halls are a little bit quiet. Perhaps too quiet. All right. Doom, doom. Man, I, I love the music in this game, too. Everything about this game is just so fucking iconic. There is liter literally nothing wrong with this game that I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy that they made games so good back then. But now it's just like everything's so rushed and doesn't have enough polish and all that shit. It's kind of sad, really. Alright. Let's check the old boxeroo. Uh, Alright, I can put this away. Put this knife away. Don't need that shit. Alright, cool. It's a lock and load, motherfucker. Small key. There we go. Got some handgun rounds. Nice. Man, I get so much more notifications on YouTube now than ever before. Seriously, you guys are the best. Thank you. All right. So now we are going into the iconic liquor hallway. Hopefully he doesn't lick me to death. There we go. His head was taken off. 
Oh boy. Iconic line. I love that. It's so good. Just walk right past him. Walk like a Leon. Walk like an Egyptian. I'm gonna get that green herb over there. May as well. I probably don't need half the fucking health items in this room. Or in this the in this game. Just because I haven't even taken damage yet. Man, now I'm definitely going to binge watch the the X-Men series. I haven't seen that since I was a kid. Like a baby. I was so young. That was like my shit back when, you know, I was, I was young. I loved X-Men. I had an X-Men action figure. Everything. Like, it was, it was the best. Alright, nothing to see over here. So let's go over here. Okay, I think there might be some handgun rounds over here. I'm not sure whether that... Yeah, okay, it is Leon that has the handgun rounds. Alright, awesome. I'm just gonna use the shit out of these fucking handgun rounds. Why not, right? Alright. Got five people in the chat. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm glad that you guys, you know, made it to the stream. And uh, definitely give it up for, you know, the original Leon who passed away recently. He was, uh, he was, a, he was a great person. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so there's more green herbs over here. I'm probably not going to need most of them. But I have taken some damage. I was thinking, like, maybe I should make this a no damage run, but that's it's a little bit too late. That, uh, that one, um, uh, zombie that was down, the feet zombie got me. Alright, so... Now we are in this chill ass area. Okay. And I don't think there's anything else in here. I don't want to pick up the ink ribbon just because I don't want to save. All right, awesome. Let's get the fuck out of here then. Oh shit, you know what I just realized? I could have gotten that, uh... Yeah, I could have gotten that, um... That, uh, red jewel. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. I forgot that Leon starts with the, the, um... Uh, what's it called? The lighter. I can't believe I forgot the name for lighter. I have, re I have a really, really shitty memory. All right, awesome. Hopefully I'm able to do a no save run in um in scenario B. Cause that's uh that gets a little bit tough at points, cause sometimes I don't know where the fuck I'm going, and then you know, whatever. But it's alright, I'll champ through it because it's all for Paul, you know? So 
we got this. Uh, you know, I never knew this when I was a kid, but there's actually handgun ammo behind this statue. Never knew that <laughs> until like a little bit ago. Trying to optimize this run a little bit. I mean, I'm 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 in the speed run uh, frame of mind. Don't get me wrong, but uh, this is definitely not a speed run by any means. So, everybody in the chat, let me know. Uh, let me know your experience with this game. Why you like this game? You know, um, what it did for you as a kid. Um, if you played it. And uh, what impact, you know, Leon and um, the voice actor of Leon, you know, um, what, what, you know, the, the role that he played in your life. Because everybody's impacted by something, you know what I mean? There's always something in life that people are just like, wow, you know what, I remember that. And that actually, you know, I remember that and, you know, like, I, I loved Leon or whatever, or I loved, uh, you know, Batman from the Dark Knight movie or whatever, whoever it is, you know, everybody has a hero. Mine just happens to be Leon. Man, this motherfucker doesn't stay dead. Alright, good stuff. You never found that ammo playing Resident Evil 2 back in the day? Yeah, th I mean, there's always hidden shit in this game. Alright, so I got another shotgun. I could put the old shotgun away now. That's good. Alright, so what else do I need to take? Oh shit, I have to go back here anyways, because I have to dump that old shotgun. Okay. So, yeah. I thought there was handgun rounds in here, but apparently there isn't. Maybe I'm just thinking of uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake. <laughs> I confuse the two a lot sometimes when I play. Alright, let's head over there now. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Because I gotta go down there anyways to put that, uh... That, what you call it? That, uh... Unicorn statue in there. So... Or a unicorn uh, metal. And also there's a cutscene in here too that I don't want to miss, so. There we go. Chris's diary. Alright. Leon! It's good to see you're still among the living. Looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. Damn. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. It's a good suggestion. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way, we can keep in touch if anything happens. Alright, awesome. Alright, so yeah, there. I don't think there is any handgun ammo in this game if I'm... No, the handgun ammo is in Resident Evil 3, that's right. So, yeah. Paul is also your hero too? Yeah, he's a lot of people's heroes. He really is. He was... Like, I, I, it's just so sad. When I heard about it, I, like, I, I almost wanted to cry. Like, it was, uh, it was crazy to even think about, you know? And, and the guy was only, f like, 56 years old. You know, he was, he was young. It's crazy. But, hey, you know, 
Esophageal cancer is no joke. Or uh, larynx, uh, uh, larynx cancer is no joke. Like, that kills a lot of people, especially because it's so close to the brain, too. All right. Let's put this shotgun in here. I'm not going to use that again. And I'll put this away. Grab a green herb. Go to the Winchester, grab a pint, and wait for everything to blow over. Alright, nice. Jump scare city, baby. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, get your hands off me, you sons of bitches. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Alright, nice. Oh, shit. I forgot that this liquor is still in here. There we go. Fuck you, asshole. Can't believe it took three shotgun shots to take that motherfucker out. That's crazy. I did not think that was going to happen. Plug this unicorn statue in here. There we go. Take that key. And then... Shit, where else do I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Spade key goes into... Actually, hold on, no. I'm trying to think of where the spade key goes other than the door, you know, over here. I don't remember. It's been so long. I mean, in theory, it's only been, a, like, what, two months? But it's been long for me since I play, you know, so many other Resident Evil games. And I played uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake, you know, before. Uh, re recently, actually. A lot more recently than I've played this game, so. I tend to forget. Especially when one game is remade. Okay, no, that's the diamond key, I believe. Yep. Okay. I don't even know why I went over there. Just wanted to check it out, I guess. Alright. Good shit. Nice. Got everything in there. Good stuff. Damn, so many zombos, so little time. Yeah. Head explosions. There we go. Fuck you, pal.
All right. Nice. And I never really checked this zombie down on the ground. I wonder if he has anything. Nope, nothing? Okay. All right, nice. Uh, what do you think about Resident Evil 3 Remake? Um, I think it's a good game. Um, they left a lot of stuff out that sort of bummed me out a little bit. But uh, nevertheless, it is good. Um, the storyline's great. And, um, you know, the characters are way more flushed out. Um, just like Resident Evil 2 Remake's characters, you know, the minor characters are a lot more flushed out. I really like it. Um, it's just, uh, and it's a little bit short, too. That's... That's another problem that I have with it. But, you know, nevertheless, it's a really great game. It's it's a good introduction to, like, you know, the the, the, the young ones out there that were scared. You, you know, like, when I, when I played this game back in the day, uh, when my dad played it, like, it scared the shit out of me. I think it's definitely a good introduction to, you know, the little kids that, uh, you know, are going to get scared. But yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it was decent. It wasn't too bad. There we go. All right, pick up this red herb. That's probably a good thing. There we go. Mix it with that green. There we go. Nice. And then I'll take this. There we go. But also, um, definitely welcome uh, Isaiah um, Coleman to the stream. Hope you're uh, hope you're having fun, brother. Um, yeah, this is a uh, this is a um, a tribute to uh, the original Leon who uh, passed away a couple days ago. So. This is for him. I got to say, Paul, you have some excellent shooting skills. I know I don't have to shoot all these zombies, but I want to. Just to keep the stream going a little bit longer. Uh, uh, you're mad, uh... You're mad Barry wasn't at the end in the remake and, uh, and no mercenaries. Yep, true. I mean, people loved the fact that, uh, that Barry rescued Jill at the end if you, like, played the game the right way. Um... Uh, and also, yeah, I loved the mercenaries mode in Resident Evil 3. Like, that's the, that's what kept me playing the game for so long, you know? Like, it prolonged the game, um, made it so it had a lot of, you know, replayability and whatever. Um, yeah, it was definitely, uh, definitely a fuck-up on their part. But, nevertheless, you know, it's still a good game for what it is. I appreciate it for what it is, but, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's hard to say. Definitely hard to say. Okay, small key over here. There we go. I'm going to go back to this area. Plug that small key in. And get those handgun parts. Get on up over here. All right, take a 
look in this desk. What do we got? We got some handgun parts. Partner. I think that's, uh, the spade key goes downstairs. So once I climb down the stairs, um, yeah, I'll climb down the stairs, go into that area that I cleared out, and, uh, use the spade key there. Either that or it's the diamond key. But I don't think it's, I don't think it's the diamond key. I think it's the spade key. I forget. Man, it's been so long since I've really, really tried to play this game. But I got six people in the chat. Thank you guys so much. Welcome to uh, the Paula Dad tribute. In memory of Paul, the original real police dude. Okay. So we gotta go over this way. Plug this, uh, this key in. Good stuff. Do, 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 do. All right. I think it might be a diamond key. Yeah, fuck. It is a diamond key, isn't it? Damn it. All right. Well, fuck it. Let's go back upstairs. Do some other good shit. All right. Actually, shit. I can probably kill these zombies off real quick. Why not? Uh, what, what do I need to have a setup like this and to talk about RE? Um, you have to have a good microphone. Um, you have to, um, get good at technology because that's a key. Um, you have to know a lot of, uh, gaming stuff. Um, you know, what, uh, FPSs are, um, what, uh, you need to have good internet, first of all. You know, that's, that's definitely, uh, a key factor. Um, if you don't have good internet, your streams are gonna look like shit, and, you know, nobody's gonna wanna talk to you. Because you're the, not the cool kid in town, you know? Um, uh, and also, um, just, just have a, have to have a personality, and, uh, you know, a good microphone to, uh, capture your beautiful face. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Two, two, three, six. There we go. Yeah, but uh, if you if you wanna if you wanna get stuff to to stream or whatever, or just to talk about, you know, like anything, um, I would uh I would do some shopping around, um, cause not uh, cause what I have isn't necessarily gonna be your favorite thing, you know. That's why I'm not telling you to buy a certain thing. I'm not trying to shill any project, uh, you know products or anything like that, but, uh, you know, I'll wait till I'm monetized for that, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. No, it's, streaming is a lot of fun. Um, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, um, and also a lot of, uh, you know, creativity. Um, a lot of, you know, you have to be good at video games, too, or whatever it is that you're doing. And, um, you know, just be a good person. And that's pretty much it. Not that difficult, but, you know, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Some people have a difficulty with, uh, you know, a lot of different things. All right. By the way, guys, I'm not picking my nose. I just have this really, really annoying, you know, pimple on my nose that won't go away. Do you need a laptop? Um, no, I would, uh... I would, if you want to spend money on a good laptop, that's fine, but I recommend, um, I recommend a build, a PC, I recommend you build it yourself, either that or you buy it online pre-built, um, it'll cost you a pretty penny, uh, everything to start a YouTube channel or whatever is going to cost you a pretty penny, but, uh, 
you know, it's worth it in the end. Um, I, I don't regret it. So, I mean, I don't think you will either. Okay, you know what? This fucking spade door is right here, and I'm an idiot. <laughs> Jesus. But no, you don't need a laptop per se. You need a, a, a good PC, a good build. In order to get, you know, what you want out of it. And now I got rid of that key, so I don't need it anymore. But yes, I got five people in the chat. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, welcome to the Paul Haddad, uh, you know, memory, uh, you know, in memory of Paul Haddad. Um, he is the original Leon, and he is the man, um, you know, that a lot of people grew up with. And um, he was very, very important to the Resident Evil community. He was the very first Leon. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to do this to pay my respects. And, um, you know, have fun, too. All right. So let's get on over here. All right, guys, hold up one second. I'm going to grab a beverage. Uh, grab another beverage. Be right back. Grab another brewski. Let's crack one open. Cheers, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Got five people in. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging. Cheers to Paul. Um, he is, you know, the original Leon. He's awesome. He was such a great guy, too. Like, I watched... I watched that uh, that podcast that the Residents of Evil did over and over and over again. I must have watched it like seven or eight times, seriously. And he's just such a nice, sweet man, you know? Such a sweet individual. Like, it just seems like, you know, he was always the type of person that would, you know, give his shirt off of his back to somebody. And, you know, it's, it's always... Uh, it's always really awesome to, um, you know, to meet somebody and to, you know, listen to somebody talk that is like that because, you know, it's really, really hard to find, um, you know, unselfish people nowadays. Um, a lot of, the, I mean, not everybody's selfish. That's not what I'm trying to say. But uh, uh, you're curious um, how Leon would have sounded in Resident Evil 4 if Paula Dad was still the voice actor. Yeah, I know. I think it would have been great. I think he would have played the part really well. I feel like um, Paul Mercer, um, who played, uh, I, yeah, I think it was Paul Mercer. Um, Paul Mercer, who played uh, Lee, either that or it's um, Matt Mercier. Um, but Paul Mercer, who played Leon um, in Resident Evil 4, he said he was pretty much, um, he was pretty much trying to do the like you know, the original Leon Justice. So, I mean, it, it, I, he did sound a little bit like the original Leon, but nobody could hold the candle to Paul, especially back in the day. I mean, the fact that, you know, they remade uh, Resident Evil 2, gave it a little bit of a different feel and whatever, and, um, you know, I don't even know why the fuck I went this way, to be honest with you. But, um, the fact that they gave it a little bit of a different feel, um, and, uh, they changed up the voice actor to make his, his tone more soft, um, less deep, um, I thought Nick Apostolidis, you know, what, especially what they were going for, he nailed it, but, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing better than the original. Nothing. Like, the original Die Hard is the best, um, the original, you know, movies, games, the first one is always the best. Besides Resident Evil, actually, which is kind of weird because, um, you know, Resident Evil 1 was great and all, but, uh, Resident Evil 2 was what really kicked it off. Like, this series, you know, Resident Evil 2 really fucking kicked that shit off. And it wasn't even for the lack of trying, either. 
because they had an idea which is called Resident Evil 1.5 in the Resident Evil community. Um, they had uh, they had different ideas, and you know they were gonna make this game look completely different. But uh, the um, the person who uh, directed the game, I think it was Shinji Mikami. Um, yeah, he was he was like the main director on this game. Um, the pre-build for this game, which was you know they used the same uh, graphics and engine and whatever. Um, just uh, there was no Claire Redfield. It was a, a character called Elsa Walker, and she was going to be um, you know the female protagonist for the game. Um, he said it just the, through halfway of the game it was very boring, and he felt like you know people wouldn't have um, liked it as much. So he redid it, and there we go. We got this game. But yeah. Hold on, guys. Gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back. But uh, yeah, no, I think uh, Resident Evil 4 would have been phenomenal with um, you know, Paul Haddad voicing um, voicing Leon, because he did so much voice work. When I when I looked up his um his filmography on uh, on Wikipedia, I, I was blown away by some of the shit that he did. I know that he did um, Quicksilver and. Uh, you know, obviously Leon, you know, but I didn't even know that he did all that other shit. There we go. See you later. Peace out. There we go. You're dead too. Nice. Oh no, he's not dead. He's he wants to live. He's like, "Fuck you, Leon, for trying to kill me, you bastard." All right. All right, there we go. Perfect. Cheers everybody. Cheers to Paul. Thank you for delivering such a great performance. You know what's crazy? Imagine if they kept the same voice actor, th you know, for Leon throughout the whole series. Like, imagine that. That shit's crazy to even think about. Because they rarely ever do that anymore. Okay. Alright, nice. Your favorite line from Resident Evil 2 uh, original from Leon um, is, uh, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. And then that fucking dope-ass music hits. Hell yeah, man. And Ada, wait. Ada, wait. Ada, wait. Yeah, right? Oh, man. It's so iconic. This game is timeless. I fucking love this game so much. And I can't believe that he's gone. That's crazy. Gone at 50, I think he was uh, 56 years old. That's, that's nuts. That just proves that, you know, anything can happen in life. You just gotta be careful. Try and live your life as healthy as possible, which I mean, I can't even really say that I do because I never do that. I'm literally the opposite of what I'm saying right now, which is really messed up. You know, definitely practice what you preach, but um, man, you know, I mean, it, and it, you know, something that just took him out. Cancer, man. I mean, my dad had cancer three times, so I know how hard that shit is. You know, I went to um, radiation with my dad, you know, f five days a week for uh, two and a half months. You know, 40, 40 days of radiation. 
I mean, it doesn't get crazier than that. It really doesn't. I can only imagine what kind of suffering he went through. Man. It's crazy. And it sucks that, you know, your heroes, you know, will suffer from stuff like that too. Because cancer and, and disease and everything, it does not discriminate at all. Like, you know, it could happen to anybody. And it's just, uh, you know, it's a hell of a way to go. All right, nice. Helicopter. RP Dizzle in the Hizzle. Yeah, fuck this green herb. I don't feel like going back in here. I'm just gonna take what's in this uh, helicopter with a lobster. Adabaragata. Alright. Let's get the fuck back in here, bro. You know what's weird? I love it when people say bro. Like, bro. Bro, what are you doing? Like, bro. <laughs> I fucking love it. It always makes me laugh for some reason. I don't know. I, th I think I just laugh at the stupidest shit, but. <laughs> it would have been cool if they added the original um, games with RE1 remake uh, graphics and tank control. Tank controls in uh, in the remakes. Yeah, I know. I uh, I would have loved that. Um, I think the issue was uh, just it's such an archaic way of making a game. I guess that I, I I don't know. I really couldn't say the reason why they did it, but uh, it definitely sucks. You're right. I mean. You know, they could have done it in some sort of way where it was, um, where people still would have enjoyed it and it would have been fixed camera angle. Just like Resident Evil 1 Remake, that shit, that, that game blows my mind every single time I play it. It's so good. Alright, got another chest piece, motherfucker. Diamond key. Alright. Now, what else is here? Because I think that there's something over here, maybe? No? What about in this urn right here? Or this uh, plant thing? Oh, no. I don't need no ink ribbons. This is a no-save run. How did the fire not explode those handgun rounds? Oh, yeah, you're. Tr that's right. Because, you know, the, the, the whole reason why... Um, uh, handgun bullets get fired in the first place is because they kind of like, you know, they kind of light up and almost get set on fire. Yeah, I know, right? Huh. That's odd. Yeah, and especially if, um, if Leon was close to the flames, like, that shit would definitely would have ignited those bullets for sure. Alright, so let's put some stuff away in the El Boxeroo. Alright. I just realized it, sound, it sounded like uh, Big Meaty Claws. Because she says Rue after everything. By the way, big shout out to Big Meaty Claws. Definitely check out her her, her Twitch channel. At, um... Uh, at, uh... It's Big Meaty Claws. Capital, um, B. I G capital M E A T Y. Um, capital C L A W Z. Um, she's awesome. She's a great streamer. Um... Not the typical, you know, girl streamer that, you know, has cleavage hanging out and whatever. She's awesome. Definitely check her out. She's a very nice person. Um, you know. So, yeah. Alright, so, I'm gonna go over this way. <clears throat> go back down through. 
to uh, open some doors. I should be uh, I should be Jim Morrison in this game because of all these damn doors. I unlocked it. Doors locked. Yeah, Brian, I feel like you can ask that question about any Resident Evil game. <laughs> because, like, especially in Resident Evil 3 Remake, there's a lot of fucking fire. And, like, how does... How do those bullets not, you know, spontaneously combust? Because they're made out of robust material that is supposed to combust, you know? They must. They must. They must combust. The robust. They must. They must combust. I don't know, I'm just being stupid. I don't even know what I do half the time. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm taking these herbs either, honestly, because I really don't need them. I haven't, I've taken maybe a little bit of damage this whole time and that's it. All right, nice. Real nice, Mrs. Pancakes, real nice. Is that a pizza? Oh, there was a pizza in the remake too, that's, Awesome. I'll just kill that zombie out of sheer boredom. All right, nice. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a diamond door over here too. Huh, I almost forgot. Oh, my inventory's full right now, so. Yeah, there's two things over here that I need to get, so I gotta put some things away. I'll put the uh, the green herbs away. I don't need them. But thank you everybody for coming in the chat and you know, um, and uh, you know, wishing a happy memory and um, you know, uh, you know, j going on the journey with me to uh, celebrate, um, you know, Paul Haddad's life and you know, his most, his greatest achievement which was vo voice acting in this game, because he did a, f a hell of a job, and I know that he's in a better place right now. I know it. Because, I, I mean, I know, I know what it's like to, uh, you know, not go through it personally, but have a loved one or a family member. Like, I feel so bad for his family, if he has one. I looked up on, um, on Wikipedia earlier today, and I don't think he had any kids. You know, he didn't seem like the guy that would really want kids, per se. But I mean, I, you know, I'm just judging out of obviously nothing, because I didn't really know the guy personally, but... You know. Um, he didn't have a... I, I don't think he was married either. Um, I don't know if his parents are still alive, or if he has any sisters or brothers. But, um, yeah. Finally, I have this fucking diamond key. Jesus. You're thinking about having channel talking about uh, gaming. Um, you want to do videos like RE4 Remake and The Last of Us 2. If they make an RE4 Remake, who knows? I mean, that's definitely... Um, it's definitely something that, you know, the community is talking about. But I don't know for a fact if they're actually going to remake Resident Evil 4. Because, I mean, if they do remake Resident Evil 4, it has to be perfect. And I don't mean, like, perfect as in, like, oh, this is a really good game. No. It has to be flawless. Because Resident Evil 4, the original, shit. That, that game, I mean, besides, you know, Ashley being useless and annoying, that game has no fucking flaws whatsoever. And I know, oh, shit. I forgot about that jump scare. I... Oh, I near I, I nearly peed myself. Oh, man, love it though. You gotta love that jump jump scare. But um, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, that liquor, man. That liquor. That liquor. But no. Anyways, uh, 
besides Ashley Graham being fucking annoying, which I mean, a lot of people uh, will think, will, will, you know, talk about that game and be like, you know, I actually liked Ashley. She was useful at some points or whatever, and I, I firmly disagree. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I agree to disagree, and I move on. This, uh, they said that Resident Evil 4 is releasing in 2020. That's just speculation, my dude. I wouldn't believe everything that you hear, necessarily. It's just speculation. I don't know if they're going to remake it or not. Um, they seem... Honestly, Resident Evil 4, the, the original, makes a lot of money right now, even. And that, that game came out in, what, 2004? So... I mean, I would hope that they remake Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1 Remake first, even though I love Resident Evil 1 Remake. Um, it would just be a cool thing to see um, they re them remake it in this type of style, or in a Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 Remake's um, type of, you know, control style. But yeah. You think Ashley's the best? That's what I think about your opinion. No, I mean... Ashley, she's a character, I get. I, you know, I, I, there's not really a, a lot that I can say about Ashley. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I find her annoying. Just like Steve Burnside. Like, her and Steve Burnside are, like, right next to each other, in my opinion. But no, I respect your opinion. I was just joking about the thumbs down thing. Don't think anything of that. I'm just joking around. But, um, yeah, no. Uh, I really, um, I really like Resident Evil 4 for the game that it is. Um, it definitely brought the series more towards action, which I mean, me and, me and, uh, uh, road team member Tony, we were talking about, you know, the fact that, um, Resident Evil 3 was the first act, real action-y title, and I definitely agree. Um, but, yeah. Uh, that's the, that's the only part that, uh, ever jump-scared me in Resident Evil 2, yeah. When that fucking liquor comes out and just makes that loud bang, ugh. It always scares me sometimes. Okay, so what the fuck do I need to do next? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I need to go this way. But yeah, no, uh, I, I don't know. Resident Evil 4 is just like one of those things. Um, Steve and Ashley are to uh, t top 10 Resident Evil characters. Yeah, you're, you're just trolling, bro. You don't really think that. There's no way. Come on. There's no way you think that. Steve Burnside. Psh, get out of here. Top not tip. <laughs> yeah, they're, t they're they're tip notch. That's for sure. They're tip notch. But yeah, no, like, obviously, the you know, Paul Haddad's performance as, you know, Leon, it's just, I, it's fucking iconic, man. It's like, it's timeless. And, you know, people say, oh, the voice acting wasn't that great. Dude, I thought this voice acting is better than most games, even made nowadays. And I'm not even joking. Like, I love this voice acting so much to the point where, like, I remember, oh, shit. Oh, I forgot that there were zombies in here. Fuck. I was thinking about Resident Evil 3. Oh, that's the part that fucks me up sometimes. Okay, so... I gotta take these motherfuckers out. Hardcore. Okay. And headshot again. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that shit... I, I wasn't thinking. I forgot that there was a bunch of zombies in this room. Fuck me. All right. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, shit. Ooh, that was close. Uh, Goodbye. Oh, shit. He's still alive. Oh, this guy's definitely still alive. I saw his head moving over there. Nope, never mind. He's, uh... He was dead, actually. I guess I must be seeing things. No, I don't want this fucking film. Get out of here. 
Uh, you just beat Resident Evil uh, 4 yesterday, and it still holds up. Yes, exactly. It's still such a great game. It's not the best Resident Evil game, in my opinion. I feel like uh, maybe like the last the last part of the game kind of falls off for me. Um, you know, but uh, that's just my personal opinion anyways. I mean, definitely take that with a grain of salt because, you know. But, um, nah, the, the, the last part is way too uh, action-y. And, like, military people trying to kill you and whatever. It's, uh, it's not my cup of tea. But, uh, yeah. I unlocked it. But I got seven people in the chat. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging. All right. Collect this green herb over here. I'm a herbivore. Man, I started out with all this fucking ammo. Now I have, like, literally nothing. All right, Marvin. Let's see how you're doing, brother. Oh shit, uh, alright, yep, uh, you're not looking so good, okay, alright, get the fuck out of here. Jeez, Marvin, come on, man, scaring me over here. Alright. Okay, let's look in this locker real quick, yep, some handgun ammo, just like I remembered. Alright. There we go. Unlocked it. Nice. Uh, you just beat Resident Evil 4. Still holds up. I personally think Ashley wasn't that bad because you can tell her to hide uh, before going into barrels. Yeah, but if uh, she takes the slightest amount of damage, which she has a lot less health than Leon does, um, and uh, you know, if you accidentally shoot her, she's dead instantly. Um, Insta-kill. And then you have to start all over from whatever save you had or... You know, I think it was, uh, I think the game had, a, an autosave feature, I think. Which, I mean, that's definitely another reason why Resident Evil 4 falls off for me, personally. But, um, you know. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I just don't like Ashley. I think she's annoying. Um, you know, she's the president's daughter. She should not be as frightened or scared or whatever. R.I.P. Marvin. Yep. R.I.P. Marvin. Zombie Marvin. Zar Zarman. Okay. There we go. Nice. Got eight people in the chat. Awesome. Cheers, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Um, this is all for Paul Haddad and everything that he did for this game. Um, and voice acting Leon. Tribute to him. Precinct key? Oh shit. I don't even need that shit anymore, player. No, I don't even need that shit no more. Okay, so there's actually no zombies in this part, which I, I mean, I thought maybe that's Claire's part. Yeah, I think that is Claire's part where there's zombies in this part. Huh. Alright, nice. Uh, you wouldn't mind if they take out, um, button mashing when you get cha Yeah. You mean QTEs? Yep. Yeah. I wouldn't- I would not mind that at all. I actually- That's actually another reason why I don't think Resident Evil 4 is the best Resident Evil of all time. Because QTEs really, really get in the way of, like, immersion. You can't immerse yourself in- in a game. If every single cutscene that actually matters, you have to spam a fucking button. It's definitely one thing that pisses me off about it. For, for sure. Alright. Oh, shit. Forgot that there was another doggo over there.
All right, motherfucker. Come on, sit down, sit. Good boy. All right, nice. Uh, I guess it was because I had it on professional. Oh, yeah. I've never played Resident Evil 4 on professional, nor do I ever plan on playing 4 on professional. It's just so fucking difficult. One hit in the beginning of the game and you're fucking dead, that's it. And there's so many enemies on screen, it's hard not to get hit, you know? So many green herbs, so little time. Okay. Let's see if I still remember the, uh, the thing to this puzzle. I believe this one goes down, up, up, down, up. There we go. Nice. Oh, power supply too high. That's right. You have to put it at 80. Then I think it goes something like um, up, down, up, down. Up. Up. Down. And then up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> up, down, up, down, up. Noise. Okay, I still need that card to get in there, though. Alright, so let's continue on. Let's move on up. Up, down, up, down, up. Yeah, yeah, I know. You beat Resident Evil 3 Remake on Nightmare? Oof. That sounds like a really unfun time. <laughs> Damn. You must have had a lot of fun doing that shit, huh? All right, so let's go over here. Yeah, what's up, Mr. J? Hopefully you're having some fun. Oh shit, another cutscene. Yeah, you did. Who are you? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I guess. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. A red car. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? All right, Ada. If you ask, you shall receive Leon's dick. No, I'm just kidding. If you ask, you shall receive some help with this thing over here. Resident Evil 4 on Professional wasn't that hard. You just have to knife the infected when they're, when they're on the ground. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I'm just not a big... Uh, I don't really like the controls for Resident Evil 4, per se. I mean, they were, they were definitely, you know, a good try and whatever. But, uh, yeah, no. I'm not a big fan. Uh, that's probably why I can't fucking beat it on professional to save my life. Um, uh, that That's awesome, Derek. Yeah, no, the fact that you beat that on nightmare mode, that's pretty legit. Um, uh, Mr. J says, uh, not much, just got done grilling for the family. Nice, so you're you're not, you guys aren't quarantined over there or anything? Where do you, where do, where do what area of the uni uh, US do you live in? Um, I would uh, want Resident Evil Code Veronica remake over any remake or any Resident Evil game. Yes, definitely. I agree 100%. 1,000% actually. 
That definitely needs a remake for sure. A polish and a coat of paint would be nice Ada, for that wait. game. Ada, wait! Don't you dare call Ada by her name. You just met her, Leon. What the hell, man? Don't you dare tell that woman to wait. Uh-uh. No, you didn't. Okay. You're trying Inferno, or Inferno right now? Good luck. I heard that it's really, really, really fucking hard. How was the last boss fight, by the way? Interesting, right? Must have been hard. Hope you had a smash up time. All right, there's gonna be a red herb that I'm gonna wanna get too. So I'll just do this. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up. Now. Oh, I love it. I love that line. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. I'm trying to sleep here, motherfucker. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? <laughs> what a dick. I love it. It's funny. Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? <laughs> You're asking I the wrong right people here, Leon. officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. True. Yeah, that motherfucker. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Man, I fucking love that whole sequence, that whole conversation between Ben, Leon, and Ada. I really do. That's one of my favorite parts of this game. I know it's such a it's such an odd part to really enjoy, but I f I fucking love that part. It's just so gritty. I mean, the way, you know, Paul makes Leon's voice sound, it just sounds really gritty and raw and just like raw, like you know, I I fucking love it. But uh yeah, going uh back to your question, Isaiah Coleman, um do you know uh Resident Evil 4 is the only game out of the series to win game of the year? Yes, I do. And that's fucking crazy cuz I thought Resident Evil 2, the original, definitely should have won some awards. Um uh what version am I playing this on? I'm actually playing on my PS3. It is running through um, a game capture card and going to my computer. So, yeah, I'm basically playing this on PS3. See, PS3 in front of you guys right now. In the memory of Paul Haddad, of course, because, uh, you know, rest in peace. Um, uh, Dr. Mindbender, um, you think that at least... Um, one other Resident Evil would have one game of the year. Yeah, right? I mean, Resident Evil 2, definitely. Resident Evil 1 Remake, for sure. Although, I think maybe a whole lot of... Uh, I think a lot of people didn't play it because it was on the GameCube. And back then, I don't think um, 
Resident Evil 1 remake was as was that great on the GameCube. Um, it wasn't until it got, you know, re-released for like the newer consoles, um, you know, nowadays that you know it really really stuck out as like a really really solid Resident Evil game in my eyes. But uh, um, and then uh, Isaiah says um, Resident Evil 2 remake uh, got robbed last year for Game of the Year. Yeah, it really did. I was so upset. I was livid, I because I, I actually streamed that shit on the channel, which I probably shouldn't have, because I got I actually got like a copyright, you know, claim or whatever. But uh, I just cut that part of the video out, so whatever. But uh, yeah, no, I streamed all of that for nothing. It was a great game though. Um, and then uh, <laughs> CM39 anime says R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Definitely. Oh, you're talking about Paul? Yeah. R R.I.P. for sure. I mean, you know, he was he's a legend. You know, to all of us Resident Evil fans, he's a fucking legend. There is no reason why, you know, you know, uh, whoever is up there, you know, should have taken him now. Because he was so young. And just, you know, he had a lot of life to live. It's crazy. It really is. All right, a bunch of doggies over here. Yeah, fuck off, stupid dog. All right. Oh shit, okay, I didn't think that happened right away. There we go. Fuck you, you stupid dogs. Stupid fucking dogs. Dude, look at those stupid dogs, man. Like, seriously, that's crazy as hell, bro. Alright. You loved uh, Resident, Evil, um, Resident Evil Remake on the GameCube? Yeah, I did too. Um, Resident Evil 4 released on the GameCube first. That is true. I forgot about that. Yeah. And that was very, that was critically acclaimed, too, so, yeah, that's true. But it's also a great game, honestly. You know, for, and especially for the year that, that it came out, honestly, they didn't release a lot of really, really, really great games that year. But Resident Evil 4 is great. I'm definitely not going to downplay Resident Evil 4. It's, uh, it's a really great game. The fact that Leon is in it makes it even better. Your right hand comes off? <laughs> you think uh, Resident Evil 7 is overrated? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Um, the last half of the game falls off completely. Um, there's no variety when it comes to enemies. Um, but I, I do like it, you know, completely for what it is. I mean, Jack Baker is a crazy motherfucker. Um, you know, the whole Baker family is nuts. Um, it just uh, it, it makes me happy playing it. Um, but when I do play it, it's like, uh, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it's more of a, uh, more of a chore to play it than, you know, any other Resident Evil game that I've, I've played before. Um, it's definitely not as much fun in my eyes, but yeah, I mean, I do, I do feel like it's overrated for sure. Had a lot of really cool horror tropes too, which I mean, I definitely appreciate and enjoy. But you know, other than that, I'm not really a big fan. All right, so hold on. Uh, I have to go to the bathroom real quick. I will be right back. You think God of War came out in 2005? Is that when Resident Evil 4 came out, or was it uh, 2004? Hold on, I'll be right back, guys.
All right, I'm back, guys. Welcome to the stream. Um, this is all uh, in memory of Paul Adad and uh, his contribution towards Resident Evil 2, which is great. I love this game so much. All right, so... Uh, let's go this way, plug in some of those plugs so I can get rid of them, and I don't have to do it later. Nice. Okay, a bunch of butt plugs we got over here. Bunch of butt plugs. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 came out in 2005. Okay, yeah. I was thinking either late 2004 or 2005 or early, early uh, 2005. So, I'll remember that. <laughs> so I don't sound stupid. I wonder if, uh, did God of War actually win that award that year? Or no, never mind, Resident Evil 4 did, duh. But yeah, no, I love Resident Evil 4. It's a good game. It's just Ashley. She just, she kinda just brings it down, you know, a bunch of notches for me. And the QTEs, not a big fan. But other than that, Resident Evil 4 is really good. But this game, this game is my second favorite Resident Evil game of all time. Second or third. I mean, it switches between Resident Evil 3 and 2 sometimes. Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. She's like, I don't give a shit. Whatever. Fuck you, man. <laughs> it's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Yeah, go upstairs through Leon's shaft. I, uh, I thought you'd say that, Ada. Ada's always doing something with a shaft. Alright. Bunch of doggos over here. Nice. Okay. Ada putting some work in. Hell yeah. Clyde, you are just completely and utterly lovable today, aren't you? Yes, I love you too, cutie. But uh, you gotta get off my, my lap today, brother. I just gotta move these boxes first. My cat's, like, nudging my fingers with his face. Oh, you're so adorable. I love you, but, uh... Oh, I know. I, I know you I know you want to cuddle. I'm sorry. All right. God, your nose is so wet. Why is your nose so wet all the time? Jeez. All right. So, let's continue on. <laughs> my cat was, like, nuzzling my fingers. He's such an adorable little buddy. Well, he's not little. He's definitely a big fucking dude. He's a big cat. All right. So we have um. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, you like the QTE against Krauser? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, uh, it's just running from the statue and the boulder, and it's just annoying. Yeah, that I also agree with. Um, can we see Mr. Clyde? Come here, Clyde Scope. Come here, buddy. They want to see you. I know. He's adorable, isn't he? Look at him. 
He's he's the love of my life. The only love of my life that I will ever have. He's like, no, don't touch me, you asshole. All right, he's not feeling it right now, even though he was like licking my fingers two seconds two seconds ago. All right, so where were we? All right, I gotta dodge some doggos. Man, your hair gets everywhere, dude. Jesus. All right, so dodge some doggos. Do it doggy style. What do you want? Oh, he's hungry. He wants food. Yeah, fuck off, dog. Stupid dogs. I prefer cats, you son of a bitch. Alright. Get some shoddy shells up in this piece. Got five people in the chat. Awesome. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Really appreciate it. Cheers to um, all you guys in the chat and to Paula Dad. Who really did a really great job with this game, seriously. Oh shit, fuck off. Stupid dogs. Yes, he is the Mr. Clyde. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Damn, she threw those shotgun shells. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. I think Leon wants to... What? Ada, Ada, wait! Ada, wait. I love it. I think Leon wants to reach her ventilation hole, if you know what I mean. Alright, so... Got some shoddy shells, nice. And, now we got the club key, so let's go down here. Um, okay, combine that with that. I also have to bring Mr. Crank. The crank of all cranks. Oh yeah, there's gonna be some liquors over here too. Shit. Alright, I'll bring now nah, I don't need I don't need health. I don't need the health. I got some shoddy shells, so I'm set. Fuck off, you stupid spider. Alright, nice. Got five people in the chat. Awesome, thank you guys so much for hanging. Alright, let's continue on. got cat hairs all over my face now. Ah, uh, when that when my when I li every time I lift my cat up, he just sheds all over the place. Those white little fucking hairs all over the place. That's a crazy ass cat. Okay. go nice
Okay. You didn't flop over. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I guess I did need some health. Whoopsie. Alright, so now I can go in this door. There we go. Nice. Okay. I think I could get through this part without, um, doing anything. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, come on. No. No, I'm dying over here. Shit. Oh, whew. That was close. That was really, really fucking close. Oh, man. Oh, boy. All right. I'm like near death over here. Holy shit. Yeah, that was not a Yeah, I knew that there was a way to a way to go without having to kill all those enemies, but uh I guess not. No, there there is a way that speedrunners do it. But I am not a speedrunner with this game. I know Block the Soup can do it pretty easily, but not me. I have not been playing this game as long as he has. All right, awesome. And I'm gonna take both the uh, machine gun and the hip pouch, just so I can be hip, you know. Boom. And there are some shotgun shells somewhere. No, no shotgun shells, huh? Okay. Could have sworn there were shotgun shells somewhere in this room, but I guess I'm mistaken. Let's take both. Why the fuck not? Machine gun and a cider packet. <laughs> I like how, the, how they had to like blacken out the screen to, for him to put on the side pack. It was just like, you know what? I think this is a little too hot for uh, too hot for TV. Here, guys, you might want to black that shit out. Nah, they probably just didn't want to do the animation for it, which I totally get. You know, this game is good for what it is. You didn't really need a, a cutscene of Leon putting on a fucking a side pack. Just wasn't needed. My cat's over there just fucking around. Yeah, I'm like close to death over here. Oh look, I got some shoddy shells, nice. Nice. All right, good stuff. All right, so I forget what's in this room. More shotgun shells. Didn't think that there were shotgun shells in there, but okay. Yeah, I'm like dead over here. I need some herbs pronto. Pronto Toronto. All right. Leon's limping, ugh. Yeah, I definitely should have taken some, uh, some more herbs, that's for sure. I could have easily died. I think it was, like, a frame or two away from dying. That zombie was really fucking close. For sure. Alright. Let's go over this way. Got four people in the chat. Thanks for hanging. And, uh... Um, celebrating uh, Paul Haddad and his performance in this game. I'm going to be playing through uh, Leon A scenario and B scenario. So, this is only Leon A, folks. Doesn't get much better than this. I'm like limping all the way to the fucking finish line. But, we'll get there. Hashtag, we do it. All 
All right, let's go. go over here, pick up some shit. Definitely need some green herbs over here. I'm like dying. Okay, let's put this shit in here, because I don't need it. Um, this shotgun can go way the fuck up here, because I definitely don't need that shit. Um... Let's see. The knife? Yeah, that can go way the fuck up here because I don't need that shit either. Um, and that can go here and grab this and grab this. Boom. Nailed it. Did all that shit. Nice. And I'm gonna throw this machine gun in there too because why the fuck not? Um... Yeah, I'm gonna put that in there for sure. All right, nice. Now we don't have to limp. Hooray! Got four people in the chat. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We shall remember the Paul Haddad. Hey, by the way, everybody that's in the stream, how long have I been streaming for? Do you guys know? I feel like it's probably like maybe an hour, hour and a half. That's just what I feel though, anyways. But Nice, I used the rest of that key. Mer. go. Handgun rounds. Really? There's no fucking handgun rounds over here? No, there definitely is. I know that for a fact. Or maybe there's just handgun rounds here with Claire. Oh, there we go. Oh no, it's a first aid spray. Okay. Alright. Alright, nice. And we go, uh, I think it's this one first, then this one, then this one. Nope, okay. Then it's this one, this one, and then that one over there. There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nice, we got that uh, that cog, that gear. So let's head on over to the um, library area. The libraria. I can't believe I'm, I'm doing this without saving. This is fucking crazy. I've never actually done it before like this. But it's all for Paul and everything. To celebrate his, um, his performance as Leon. Definitely means the world to me that you guys would want to join this, you know. To celebrate something beautiful. I mean, you know, Paul, he was a, he was a, a decent person. He was a really good guy. And, um... You know, he deserves the support.
All right, you son of a bitch. Let's go. There we go. Now he's dead. A stupid liquor. Stupid liquor. Mother freaka. Out of geeka. There's more zombos, look at them. They're all crawling all over the place and shit. All right, so let's go over this way. <laughs> I, I like how you said, can we see the Mr. Clyde? Go. Nice. All right. Good stuff. Hell yeah. The fucking night plug player. And go back down this way. Good shit. Oh shit. Get. Get away. No. No. Oh damn. Yeah, and he's he's definitely down for the count. That's for sure. Oh. I love all the squishy sounds. Ugh. Just sounds like somebody's doing something that's not really it's just like, you know, pl playing with somebody's insides or some shit like that. That's that's what that that noise literally sounds like. Just like, yeah, I'm going to play with your organs. Ben. Can you still hear me? Come on, answer. Damn, I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <coughs> ben. <laughs> Looks like he's smiling. <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police, a co-conspirator. Get that scum. Make, Make him pay. pay. Yeah. Hang in there, Ben. Oh, my chest. It's oh, burning. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Oh. So tasty. So tasty. Shit. Good God, what was that? That was uh, somebody dying, Ada. Yeah, uh, you missed it because you were fucking around. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait. Hey. All right, chemical plant. Let's let's a go, I Do guess. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. 
Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. All right, awesome. To the marshalling uh, yard we go. All right. Got four people still in the chat. Thank you guys so much for hanging. Hopefully the chat didn't break. That'd be really odd. It's never broken on my phone before, but... Cheers, everybody. Hope hopefully you guys are having a good time. Because I'm having a great time. <laughs> Gotta walk past the spiders. Now all I have to do is, I'm gonna, uh, no, I can't save, that's, shit, that's right. All right, well, yeah. I cannot save. I almost forgot, actually. <laughs> forgot that I wasn't doing a no save, that I was doing a no save run. Okay, well, different strategy then. Um, I'm gonna take this submachine gun and completely ram it up, uh, fucking William Birkin's asshole. That, uh, that sounds like a good fucking plan, to be honest with you. Alright. Oh, you're having a good time? That's good, man. That's good. I aim to please. Alright, so. Uh. Alright, so I have to put this last plug in. And then, um, yeah. Alright, so... Um, hold up, guys. I'm gonna take, like, a ten-minute break. Ten, possibly, f no, a ten-minute break. And I'll be right back, but I'll be keeping up with the, uh, the chat on my phone. So, uh, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Actually, I'll let this, uh, this music play, just because I'm not doing a speed run and it doesn't matter.
All right, everybody, I am back. Welcome to the stream. Um, this is, uh... Hey, what's up, sad boy? How you doing? All right, so... Basically, um, we are going to do our first boss fight. That's what's up. All right, hold on. Actually, give me, uh, give me like five minutes. Uh, I need to do something real quick. My, uh, my dad's calling me, so... Hold on, give me a second. Uh, chat amongst yourselves.
Alright, everybody. Sorry, I'm back. Welcome to the stream. Alright, so let's finish this. So... Uh, what do I have? I'm gonna pl uh... I'm gonna take some more green herbs just in case. Alright, awesome. Alright, let's head over to the El Bosso. Actually, shit, you know what? Yeah, let me use this submachine gun while I still can. The name's Dario Rosso. Oh, shit. It's a G creature. I like the, the the design of the G creatures way better in uh, in this game. There we go. Nice. It's a good ass boss fight. All right. Goodbye, G unit. Easy fight. All right. All right, let's see what we got over here. I'm gonna put some uh, put some health items away. All right, nice. Got four people still, or five people still in the chat. Thank you guys so much for hanging and um, uh, honoring uh, Paul Haddad's work with Leon. Probably means a lot to him. All right, let's see what I got over here. She just fucking pops out of nowhere. Ada. Ada. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon. I know. Yeah, she knows Leon. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right. We'll do this your way for now. We'll do this your way for now. <laughs> All right. So, we're in that part of the game where I want to go down here, grab some stuff. All right, let's go down, Ada. Ada Potato. All right, 
we have these Maggie rounds over here. Oh, oh, no, I guess not. Oh, never mind. Okay. There we go. Nice. Some Magnum rounds. And then... Light up this lamp real quick. And we got some shoddy shells. All right, nice. So shoddies and Maggies. Got six people in the chat. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for um, hanging out and stopping by and, uh, um, you know, being a part of this, uh, celebrating, you know, Paul Haddad's uh, performance as Leon in the original Resident Evil. And also, this is a no save run, so I will not be saving. Which, I mean, this is the first time that I'm ever doing this, so, uh, <laughs> uh it's a little, uh, a little bit of a sticky situation up in here. Hopefully I don't get stun locked with Ada. That would suck. I just gotta remember, once I enter through that area, I just gotta run as fast as I fucking can. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, it's a net. Ada! Heads up! Leon, that woman was... I have to talk to her. Wow, you just gonna fucking leave him to die? Wow, Ada, wow. What a piece of shit. Just gonna leave the man to die. He just got shot because he was saving your ass, and... Now you gotta be all like that? Damn, what a bitch. All right, so this is where I have to run it right now. There we go, no stun locky. Damn. You're the one who's with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. I don't have to identify shit, pal. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. Damn. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. Hmm. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. You're still playing? Yes, I am, Murph. Yes, I am. I haven't finished uh, Scenario A yet, but I'm going to play Scenario B of Leon, too. Just to celebrate Paula Dad's work, you know, it's definitely... Um, My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. I'm going to let you guys watch this cutscene real quick. I'll be right back. Just kind of grab a beverage. There he is. 
So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Doctor, you might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. I love this cutscene. It's so good. Oh, and he just fucking injects himself with the virus. Team, have you retrieved the sample yet? So good. Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! What is this thing? Oh, I love that scream. Hurry! Yeah, he's dead. For sure. What, what is this thing? Fire! Imagine if they took the vial from William. Yeah, imagine that. There, there would be no Resident Evil 2. There'd be no outbreak in the city. Raccoon City would be still be so fine. So rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G virus bioweapon, including William has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. Oh, I love that cutscene so much. Too bad. I love this whole game. It's so good. And the fact that Paul Haddad, he's, he, like, the fact that he was even a part of that is just, it's, it's like something of legend. This game is legendary. It really is. Alright, nice. We got an alligator. Ada? Okay, let's go over here then. I gotta go up and get that, uh, that, uh, Circle crank. Oh shit. I never realized that there was a first aid spray there. Huh. I learn something new every day with this game. Every time I play it, I learn something new. Alright. So now I can put this away. Now I have another first aid spray. Yippee. Hooray, hooray. Hurry, hurrah. Alright. And I gotta take this. And... Yeah, there we go. Um, actually... You know what? I'm gonna put... This machine gun away. Just so I have enough room.
Got four people in the chat. Thank you guys so much. This is all dedicated to Paul and Dad. Um, and, uh, you know, he's the original, original OG Leon. And, um, you know, may he rest in peace. He did really, really great work with this game. All, you know, I wanted to play all of his cutscenes and whatever. And, um, you know, go through all of his parts in this game. His contribution to Resident Evil and whatever. And, um, you know, just continue his legacy a little bit. Cheers, everybody. All right. Let's get that wolf metal. And then this motherfucker has something too, right? Yeah. Shotgun shells. Yep. All right, cool. All right, bunch of spooters over here. Got to avoid the spooters. Don't want to be a spooter shooter. Got to avoid the spooters. Hopefully everybody is having a good time. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully everybody is having a good time and just remembering, you know, this game and Paul Haddad's work and what he did and, you know, um, just his voice acting was legendary in this game. It seriously was. And, you know, I hope that, uh, I hope that people play this game for years to come, especially the new generation, you know, I hope they, they aren't, um, you know, swayed by, um, you know, the fact that you know, this game is very, uh, it has tank controls and stuff like that. Like, I don't want to hear any of that. Just play the game. It's really, really good. I don't care how young you are. Like, definitely play through this game. Experience it for yourself. All right. All right, all right, all right. Two green herbs, nice. Okay, some more shoddy shells, and I am not saving because it's a no save run. Snoochy boochies. <laughs> I just watched the um, the Jay and Silent Bob reboot uh, the other night, and dude, I was so happy. That movie is so good. It really is. Ada. Oh man, he narrowly, like narrowly, fucking, you know, avoids the the alligator right there. Alligator's dead, son. What happened? Oh, shit. That alligator blew up. All right. Okay. Got four people still in the chat. Thank you guys so much for dealing with my annoying ass and um, paying tribute to uh, to Paul Haddad and everything that he did with uh, the Leon character in the original Resident Evil 2. I appreciate it. And I know that he does, too. And he's definitely looking down on you guys, and he's happy. So, I'm happy. 
That makes me happy. I know that there's something in this room for Leon. Oh, ink ribbons? No, fuck that. I don't need that shit. Wait, what about over here, though? Hold on. No, never mind. All right. Leon. This bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. You know what's crazy? Like, literally, Leon got shot, and he's bleeding. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. Yeah, I wanted to shut up during this, uh, during that cutscene. But, um... It's so weird, because Leon literally has a fucking bullet wound that's bleeding out, right? And, um... And he's trudging through, like, water that had, it's like, it's, all it is is piss and shit. That's pretty much what he's, you know, walking through. How, like, how does none of that get into that wound and, you know, make it seriously fucking infected? Like, there, he has to be, like, you know, in, in a lot of pain and a little bit, like, towards, like, the end half of the game. Like, that shit must have gotten really, really fucking, in like, infected. Hell yeah! Alright, let's get through this part. It's so odd, because I don't even think I need to use this, uh, cir uh circle crank anymore. I could just put it in the box and forget about it for a little bit. Yeah, look at Leon. He was looking at her. Oh, yes, sirree. <clears throat> Alright, so... Got some zombos over here that we gotta take care of. Or we don't. We could just run past him. There we go. Nice. I actually really, really love this area. They took that area out of the out of uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake too. Damn. I really, really love this part of the game. There's nothing over here for Leon, huh? Okay. But, all right, motherfuckers. All right. Yes, hopefully everybody is having a good time here at Wrestling With Evil. My name is Luke, and uh, I'm doing a tribute uh, to um, Paul Haddad's work on uh, with this game. He voiced uh, the original Leon, you know, obviously in this game in uh, 
moved his fucking hand, Ada. Come on, you got it. Oh, you knocked one of his claws off. Nice. Hell yeah. Ada is all right. Awesome. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, nice. Got four people still in the chat. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and stopping by. Really means a lot. Don't need the bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Good measures. Okay, I got one more bullet. So I have to go over here, cap this fool real quick. There we go, nice. Now it's time for the old combined. And there we go. I magically have seven bullets in my shotgun. Oh, I wonder how that happened. I wonder. Go. Take that other green herb right here. Nice. And then I'm gonna grab my uh Actually no, I'm just gonna go over here. Alright. Noise. So I'm gonna put this back over here. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I'll take this and then I will put this. Uh, I'll put this in here. I think I might actually need it again, which is weird. I feel like I do, I, or, or I will, or whatever. So yeah, I guess I'll keep that in there for now. Um, I'll take that, put that in there, and then, uh, yeah. Alright, nice. And then let's go over here, take this first aid spray, boom. Okay, got some shotgun shells, nice. Got some other shit. Yeah, this is usually where I save, because if I die, I die. You know, that's that's pretty much the end of it. Um, but I think I'm gonna take full heals here, just to be safe. So, um, yeah. And then, uh, 
Yeah, I'll take one of those. Why not? All right. And that's pretty much all I have to do right now. It's actually a lot easier not taking ink ribbons, which is kind of kind of crazy. But thank all of you for um, you know, tuning in and um, you know, uh, celebrating, you know, Paul Haddad's performance uh, in Resident Evil 2, his legacy, you know, his legacy will always live on. I mean, he will always be the, the probably the best Leon, in my opinion. Always. I mean, Nick Apostolidis is a def definitely close second, um, but, you know, Paul Haddad, he will live forever as the OG, you know, original Leon. Always. There's no denying that. And what's crazy is that, like, video games, they last forever, man. Especially, you know, with, uh, with, you know, emulators and shit like that. Like, <laughs> kids probably 50 uh, to 100 years from now will play this game and be like, oh, man, this game looks like shit compared to, you know, probably what they're gonna see. But, uh, you know, game, th this game looks like shit, but, uh, you know, like, I respect it for what it was. Hopefully they say that, you know, but, uh. Now this game was uh, definitely something back in the day. It was so revolutionary. Um, the cutscene, especially in the beginning, was you know, like mind blowing. Like way, way past its time. You know. Oh shit. All right, we're going down. We're going down. Oh shit. Ada, Ada, can you hear me? Come on, snap out of it. All right, there we go. All right, it's time for Leon to play Hero before playing Hero was even cool. Let's do this shit. All right. Oh, those squishy ass effects. I fucking love them. They're so unsettling. Actually, no, I already fought an alligator previously, so I don't have to worry about an alligator right now. Let's see, do you have anything on you? No, you don't. There we go, nice. A nice clean victory, that's what I like to see. I don't even know why I wasn't, you know, confident about that. Don't die on me, Ada. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Man, I don't know what it was about this game, but... Like, even this part just gave you, like, a sense of dread, 
you know? Like, you go through this part of the game and you're carrying Ada in your arms and you have that music in the background, it's like, damn. Welcome back. Uh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. Aww. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. Aww. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Alright, so last part of the game. This part doesn't really take that long, to be honest with you. It takes about, eh, know, roughly about 15 minutes, 10 minutes, depending on how you want to play it. I, I kind of want to go through, like, every everything, you know, kind of slow-ish, so... You know what I mean. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna put this shit away. And there we go. Makes sense. Alright. So I, I got three people uh, still in the chat. Thank you very much for um, hanging out, supporting the channel, and, um, you know, coming in at a good time. Where, uh, you know, I honor uh, the memory of Paul Haddad and his uh, role as Leon in the original game. So, uh, yeah, welcome. Because I, like most people, grew up on Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 1, the original, and, you know, Resident Evil 3 and all those games, so. It's definitely a lot of, um, a lot of fun playing through them. Especially years later when you have things that look better graphically wise and all that shit, you know. It's definitely a lot more fun. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nice. All right, first aid spray, let me take that shit. Yum, 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 yum. And now we go over here. Oh no, we gotta grab this fuse first. I got a little confused for a second. Ha ha ha. Right. We got the main fuse. There we go. Man. It feels it's like it's I feel kind of empty, you know? I feel kind of empty the fact that, you know, a a great a great voice actor like Paul, you know, is gone. Like it just feels like I don't know. I feel feel a little bit uh, a little bit empty. I don't know how to feel. It's it's like uh, it's like the end of an era almost, and it shouldn't feel like that because Resident Evil is still kicking. But you know, it's just uh, it sucks. That's for sure. All right. All 
right, all right, all right. Flamethrower. Mind blower. Oh shit. That's right. I can uh I can do this. Nice. Turn on this gas. And then uh light light this up right here. I never knew you can do this until I saw it on a, a speed run before. <laughs> it's so cool. I never knew you could do that shit before. It's awesome. Alright. Um, there's some other stuff in here, too, I think. Nope, never mind. I was wrong. Very, very wrong. Goodbye, foul demons, demon spawns. All right, so got some shoddy shells in here. I have so many shotgun shells, God damn. Too many. All right, guys, hold on. Got to go to the bathroom real quick. Be right back. Thanks for joining the live stream, everybody. Alright guys, I am back. Guys and gals, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Alright. So many shotgun shells, god damn. Alright, I unlocked the door. There we go, got a flamethrower. See ya. Stupid plants. Bunch of fucking plants and shit. Alright. Green herb. Green herb. Nice. Got a whole bunch of shit. Alright, good stuff. Boom. Nice. Okay. Alright, this part with the hunters. This part can get a little scary, so I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna bring the shotgun out. And, uh, yeah. Shit. There we go. Nice. 
nice. Wow, I have... <laughs> I didn't take any damage. That's good. Cool. Okay, well. Well then, this is actually a good part in the game. <laughs> All right, nice. And there's two more green herbs. So I'll pick this one up right now. And then I'll walk like a Leon song. Walk like a Leon. I'm trying to play on like walk like an, uh, an Egyptian, but it's not working out very well. So, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Laboratory map? Yes, I'll, I'll take it, I guess. I, I mean, nothing else I can do with it, right? All right. And then I will dispose of, like, dude, <laughs> I have so much health items, it's not even funny. I have so many health items that it's crazy. I don't even know how I got that many. I'm just gonna walk back the fuck on over here. Yeah, piss off. I'm still fine? Dude, that's crazy. I've never... I've never ever seen me get swiped by th four, like four times by, or three or four times. I, I don't even remember the count, but like three times by different liquors and be still fine, like in the green. That's, that is disgustingly crazy. I've never seen that before. I've never experienced that before. Like by now I'd probably be in like caution or in danger, dead. Like that's, that's crazy. All right, but I still got to play it safe though All right, let's go Let's go on son All right got some shotgun shells I'll Probably use these handgun rounds. I'm not gonna get many more so may as well use them while I got them, you know Alright, good shit. I'm not gonna do the moth room just because there's no point. I'm not doing a Claire B scenario, so. Alright, awesome. Shit, I forgot to grab that fucking box key. Damn it. Alright, I'll just go back into the next room and get it. Not too bad. Has no bearing on my life whatsoever. Got four people still in the chat. Thanks for uh, sticking with me and hanging out. Hopefully I can pull this uh, no save run off. <laughs> oh man, imagine if I die on the last fucking boss. That that would be, I would be so pissed. I would be really mad. All right, so let's get what I want to get and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, this is Leon A. Yep. Still doing Leon B scenario in a little bit. Once I'm done with this. Hey, you know what? When you're a dedicated fan 
and you love a voice actor for what he's done, you just go all out. That's just the way it goes, you know? But, uh... Paula Dad, he, he did he did great work with this game. And he's, um... He's a he's a he's a, a myth among legends. Like the performance in this game is fucking phenomenal. There we go. Goodbye. See you later, alligators. Goodbye. Peace out. Just kidding. Don't care. All right. See you later. And see you later, too. Oh, shit. Oh, the auto-aim did not work, did it? There we go. Blew half your body off your ass, huh? See you later. Goodbye. All right. Got that red key card. Uh, will I get, uh, the PS, uh, PS5 day one? Yeah, probably. Oh, actually, you know what? Most definitely. I probably will. I get every, re uh, every PlayStation system when it comes out, like, day one. Just because my dad did, you know? I got, re uh, I got the PlayStation 2. My dad actually got the PlayStation 2 for me for Christmas. And then the PlayStation 3 I got for Christmas. And then um, the PS4 I, I, I bought with my own money that I worked really, really fucking hard for um, just to buy a PS4. Um, I got that la at launch. It was like 700 bucks, I think. I think it started, yeah, it started off at like 700. Something like that. Um, and then I, um, I'm definitely gonna buy a PS5 at launch. So let's see how that goes. All right, nice. So I can go back this way. But thank you guys so much for joining the chat. Cheers, guys. And, um, you know, here's to uh, Paul Haddad's legacy. He was awesome. Um, he played a great role in this game. I know I can't stop talking about it, and I can't stop mentioning his name, but, you know, I mean, it's just, it's, it's so sad that he's gone, you know? It really is. All right, another brew down. Uh, yeah. Okay, all right, motherfucker. Let's see what you got. Bye. See you later, you son of a bitch. Alright, awesome. Let's hope the PS5 has uh, some better streaming capabilities, because I'm definitely looking forward to that. That's definitely something on my uh, bucket list. Nice. Just gotta kill a bunch of zombies. Okay. 
Oh, come on. Really? There we go. This game does get pretty sensitive sometimes. Okay, nice. Alright, goodbye, you sons of bitches. All right. All right, so I got that. Um, and then there's nothing that I can get with Leon over here, I don't think. I think I do have to activate this, maybe? No, that's for the vaccine. I don't have to do that with him. Nope, that's, yeah, okay. So, there we go. Let's do this, let's finish this game. I'll be right back. I know what you're looking for. You came for the G virus, didn't you? Never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> So gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something you like that. You don't know her. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. What happened? You're just like, that's not Ada. I know her. I know her. We talked extens extensively about her life. Now I'm just like, dude, you're gullible as fuck. Self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. All right, let's do this. Emergency car at the bottom platform. Fuck yeah. All right. Oh shit, it's Ada. I've been waiting for you, Leo. Oh. Wh what are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right mm. about everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. No, you wouldn't. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. You can't do that. Ada! Ada, I've got you. Don't give up. Don't let go. She, she Don't let go, Ada. Leon, it's over. Just let me go. Shut up. You're gonna make it. It's too late, Leon. Come 
on, Leon. Use those muscles. Come on. Both know it. No. I promised you that we would escape. You just have to help me out here. I... I really wanted to escape with you, Leon. Escape from everything. Leon, you got this motherfucker. So, this is what everyone's been dying for. Yep, that's what everybody's dying for. Alright, nice. So, let's uh, get the fuck out of here. So I'm gonna play it really, really safe uh, with this final battle. Um, if I, <laughs> if I, if I don't, if I don't win this final battle, and I get all the way through the game, no saves and everything, and uh, and, and I don't win this fucking final battle, then I am a scrub, and I do not deserve to play this game any longer or speedrun it for that matter. But I'm definitely not speedrunning right now. But. Um, you know, this final battle is a little bit difficult, um, uh, fourth form Birkin gets a little bit, uh, gets a little bit weird at points, um, but, uh, yeah. There we go, fuck off. Oh shit, uh oh, there we go, nice. Oh shit, okay. Am I actually damaged? No, I'm still not fucking damaged, that's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna, uh, shit, I can't save. Um, I'm just gonna grab all the shit that I actually need for this battle and then head on over, I guess. All right, so. All right, I cannot save. I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna take out, um... This thing. I'm gonna put this in the box. And then I'm gonna uh, combine some stuff. Combine that, there we go. Alright. Um, and then I'm going to take, uh, some of these, and then some of these. And then, yeah. Alright. Let's go. I guess. <laughs> Better now than never. I got this shit, though. I got it. I definitely have to check my health every time I get hit by this boss, though, just to be safe. But sometimes this boss likes to hit you twice in a row. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to, uh, you know, really, uh... Alright, so... Oh, never mind. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take another heal just in case. Just in case. You can never play too safe when you, uh, you know, don't save the game at all. But I mean, I've, I've, I've played through this game so fucking much that I think I'm able to do this, so... Let's go. Let's see. I mean, if I don't, then I'll just play Leon B scenario. And I'll live my life in shame and regrets. But I'm living off the power of Paul Haddad right now. Rest in peace, man. You definitely owe me for this, because... <laughs> Oh man, this uh, not saving is so uncertain. Like, I've never done this before, ever. I always save, and, and I mean, you, you guys know me on the channel. Like, I save like a billion times every single time I play. Even if it's a speed run, I always save. Five minutes until detonation. Five minutes until detonation. Alright. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Well, not perfect. I've seen speedrunners do it pretty fucking quickly, but, uh... That was actually really fucking good. God damn. That was awesome. Man, I got the power of Paul behind me. I swear to God, man. I've never had a run like that before in my life. I mean, it was definitely really slow, just because I watched all the cutscenes and whatever, and was bullshitting and, you know, had to take a pee break, you know, every now and then, and, and whatever, but no, this is a really good fucking run, holy shit, probably the most consistent run I've had ever in this game, especially on scenario A, scenario B is going to be a whole different story though, it's a lot harder, oh shit, I love how I love how Leon in, in the original takes charge. Like his voice is very gritty. Okay? He just takes charge. Yes, I'm fine. I love that. It's no. I have to find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. It's just the beginning. It's all right, Leon. You'll definitely see her again in two games. <laughs> Within two games from now, you will see Ada. All right, guys. I'm gonna be right back. Enjoy this sick-ass music. I actually really love the um the ending theme. 
uh, the ending theme in, uh, in uh, scenario A2. Um, it's very calming and kind of just like, woof, just kind of giving you a break from the whole stress of Resident Evil 2 and everything. So, uh, listen to this music, hang out, and, uh, talk amongst yourselves. I'm gonna take, like, a ten minute break. I'll be right back. But next, it'll be Scenario B, baby. Actually, no, I think I have to play through a little bit of, uh, Claire's A scenario so I can get to, um, Leon B. But just stick around. Thank you. 
All right, everybody, I am back, and welcome to the stream, everybody. So, I'm going to beat this uh, this game real quick with Claire. It's only going to take, like, a few minutes. I'm pretty much at the end of the game, so. Oh, shit. Oh, I just saved in the wrong place. All right, so. That's bad. Very, very bad. So, let me go back and see if I can find a, a Claire A scenario that has been played all the way through. So, let me see. So, there we go. Because I checked through my uh, my save files, and I don't have a scenario B that is about uh, uh, for Leon that's about to be started. So, let me check my save files real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, that's uh, Leon A. Claire, second scenario. Okay. Claire, A scenario. All the way in the beginning. Alright, that's uh, that sucks. That really does suck. Um, hmm. Don't know what to do. Uh, is there any way that I can do Leon scenario without beating Claire A scenario first? I don't think there is. All right, so I may as well end this stream right here then. I mean, I really, I really fucked up <laughs> pretty badly too. All right, let's see if it's actually saved. Oh, you know what? I can actually do this um, over because I have the save file there. So, yeah. All right. So, let me beat that boss again with uh, Leon. And then, uh, yeah. Okay. I know what I need to do. All right. Thanks Thanks for continuing uh, on with the stream, the, um, the four people that are watching. I appreciate it. Um, definitely please hit that like, subscribe button if you haven't. And, uh, yeah, um, Paul Haddad is looking down on me right now. He's just like, what the fuck did you just do? <laughs> so, thank you guys so much. Namco. Oh, shit. I did the wrong thing again. Quick game. <laughs> I'm not about to play Pac-Man right now. Definitely not in the mood for some Pac-Man or Galaga right now. All right, let's go this way. Thank you guys for tuning in though, appreciate it. PlayStation, licensed by Sony Computer Entertainment America, SCEA, trademark, All right. All right, load game. Oh shit, there was no load save file. Shit. Oh. All right, let's see what we got at least. Leon B train. Um okay, let's see. Maybe I can reset the game from the beginning. Hopefully that'd be cool. If I can't, then whatever. Um, reset game. Yes. Hopefully. If not, then I'm definitely screwed. I forgot that I didn't save throughout uh, Leon's playthrough. Damn. Doubly screwed. If not, eh, fuck it. I'll just end the stream right here. It's fine. Alright. Resident Evil. Resident Evil 2. Yeah. 
Yeah, damn. All right, well. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. All right, well, yeah, I'm gonna have to end the stream right here, but uh, definitely please uh, 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 thank you guys for joining. Um, it's uh, This whole thing has been in the memory of uh, Paul Haddad, who is the, um, uh, once again, I'm mentioning this, but um, he is the voice of Leon. He passed away recently, and, um, you know, he did a really, really great job, and, um, you know, his voice in Resident Evil 2 is iconic as hell, um, and that spawned for many sequels, and, you know, Resident Evil 4, which is really great, and, you know, just Leon as a general, like, in general as a character is really great, so, um, um, thank you for joining, I appreciate it, and, uh, I will, uh, I will see you guys later, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a speed run of some sort. I'll probably do, uh, I'll try and do a speed run of, um, uh, Claire A scenario and then Leon B. That's, I, I think that's what I should do tomorrow. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna do that tomorrow, and, um, yeah, so definitely please, uh, hit that like and subscribe button down below, and, um, definitely please support me on Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash we are wrestling with evil. Um, every single word in We Are Wrestling With Evil is capitalized. Um, so yeah, go on there. Please support the channel, um, financially if you can. That'd be awesome. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, if you like the content, definitely please, uh, stick around. Hit that notify bell. Make sure you get all that content when it comes out. And I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much. Um, this has been a tribute to, um, probably one of the best, uh, you know, heroes in, um, you know, gaming history. Um, the original Leon was a hero to many people that I know. Um, he's iconic as hell. Um, his character is amazing and I appreciate you appreciating that he is and, you know, um, you know, kind of, uh, you know, bringing his legacy out a little bit and appreciating what he did for, um, Resident Evil and, uh, you know, as a whole, like I said, you know, me and my dad, my dad used to play it a lot and I used to watch him when I was a kid. I was scared as hell. Uh, I didn't want to play it, and then I eventually played it. I, I, I loved it, but I was still still really scared. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, my dad was a big uh, proprietor of uh, who I am today, and I'm glad that Paul had dad was, uh, you know, he was able to, um, to uh, you know, help my dad influence me on something that's really positive. Uh, I love this community. I love all of you that have stopped in the chat and that will, uh, you know, continue to watch my videos further, and thank you guys so much, um, I really appreciate it, and, uh, this is all the time I got for you guys, um, peace out guys, mwah, love ya.